Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us mark ourselves with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So, ask the master of harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborers deserve his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection Jesus wants us all to cooperate in the salvation of our brothers and sisters. The first step in this work is to pray for a particular intention, that the Lord of the harvest send laborers into his harvest. This is something that we can all do, no matter what our situation. If we do it, we can rest assured that our effort will not go unrewarded. Sometimes, in the quest to encounter Jesus in our own hearts, we forget the other side of the story. Jesus sent the disciples out two by two. He proclaimed that where two or three are gathered in his name, he is there among them. Jesus calls to walk with one another and draw from one another on the journey. How well do I understand and respond to this message that discipleship is not a solitary endeavor? In instructing the disciples to travel light, Jesus is encouraging them to depend on him for all that they need to accomplish their mission. What heavy baggage am I carrying that slows me down on my spiritual journey? Let us now pray the prayer for Augustinian vocations. All glory and praise are yours, God of truth, light of our hearts. For you guide your people in the ways of holiness. Bless your church with an abundance of holy and zealous priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. Help those who follow the footsteps of Augustine to seek you through mutual love and worship and to be servants of your church as examples that others may follow. Enlighten our young people to seek the beauty of common life in the spirit of St. Augustine, and strengthen them in your service. Form us all in the likeness of your Son, so that in Him, with Him, and through Him, we may love you more deeply and serve you more faithfully, always and everywhere. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.